Um, played left back, so now a position you, you've known well, but first time we've seen you play for Lincoln at left back. How did you, you find you got on on Tuesday? Uh, I thought I did all right. Just obviously you got to do the defensive job first and then think about going forward and supporting the team there. I thought I did both all right, yeah. Do you see yourself in the future as a left back or as a, a central midfielder? Um, I would say as a central midfielder, yeah, but because um, it's a position I prefer as well. But um, I think it shows that if, if you're needed somewhere, you've got to go and do, do as much as you can to help and support in that position. Um, have you found it a big adjustment going from 23's football back to regular first team football at, at League One? Um, there's a lot of change, yeah, but I feel like the experience I had beforehand has prepared me for this. So I, I would say that I've seen sort of um, glimpses of this sort of football. Um, and, and do you find that the, is it just the pace of the game that from what you've been doing this is obviously I know you've played before at Ipswich, but the, just the pace, the, the intensity, is that the difference between this and, and 23s? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, just being on you at all times and not switching off, yeah. Um, the manager after Tuesday spoke about some of the, the younger players who've come in about the atmosphere is quite different to what you're used to and getting used to that, have you found that as well? Um, yeah, it is. I mean, it's not easy because you make a mistake and the crowd might get on your back and stuff. It's something that as young players we have to sort of learn to block out and just focus on our own game because obviously a lot of us are already good enough. It's just those small details might knock you off your game and you've got to make sure it doesn't. And if, is that quite difficult at times, especially when you're playing at left back, for example, when you're right close to the the crowd and you can hear everything being said? Um, so so I think um, you got to use your teammates as well. So like for example, if I was to get sort of stick off the crowd and whatnot, short shots would be inside my right shoulder, just making sure that I've got my head on what needs to be done next. And, and are you finding that those experienced players are helping you through games? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Bridge has been a good addition. Obviously, Shaq's earned key and all there. And I've heard a lot from Shaq on, on the Tuesday game just gone. And it was good support throughout the whole game, yeah. And are you enjoying life at Lincoln so far, settling into the, the area? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. I've still, still not sorted myself a place, but um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it's been all right, yeah. And en enjoying being able to play football regularly, I guess, as well? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing that I've enjoyed since coming up here, just the fact that. I'm playing and I'm involved in, in first team football and there's there's a real um, target and a purpose every time I go out and train in and every time there's a match we're really looking for the three points. And do you feel that the manager is really going to develop your game as well? Yeah, I mean, um, we've had a few conversations and I just trust in him and um, the reason I picked Lincoln is cause, it's partly because I feel like he can bring the best out of me. Um, Tyo, have you had any conversations about Aquinton yet? Do you know what to expect when you when you go up there on Saturday? Um, we'll, we'll have a, a meeting later today, but he has dropped in that it's, it's going to be a, another tough game and a battle, and they'll be up for it as much as us, and it's going to be it's a tough place to go to to get the three points. What were your thoughts on the game overall the other night? Um, frustrated not to have won it? Was a draw a fair result, do you think? Um, personally, I was very frustrated to come away and not not take the three points but um, I think from where we've come off the back of um, uh, four defeats um, I think the Rotherham game was a, a good reaction although we didn't get the three points from, from the um, previous results and then again we've shown that we can keep up that intensity so I think it would have been better to get the three points obviously but um, yeah still showing good signs that we've, we're, we've upped our intensity. Playing at left back the other night, what was your instruction from the manager? Was it try and get forward as much as possible and and, and help out at the, at the attacking end of the pitch? Yeah, just support play and just um, just take care of the ball once once I get up, up the pitch and we we'll see defensively, make sure that I'm, I'm in my position and everything's right. Brilliant. Thanks, Ty. Tayon, um, obviously it's another game in quick succession. It's like three in a week almost by the time Saturday comes round. Um, Recovery this week, you've been in uh, the cryo chamber, yeah. it's quite cold, what can you tell us about that? Um, I think um, with so many games in a short space of time, you've got to literally give yourself the best chance to be ready for the next one. And it's something I've done before, and see trying it up here, I feel like the one that I've done here is probably better than what I've done previously. And yeah, obviously it's freezing cold, but it's just the type of things you need to do to be ready for the next next game. Oh, it's like at minus 150 degrees <laughs> or something like that. Can you ever get used to it? No, nah, no. Nah, um, 
it's a tough one, but literally, you just it's them sort of things you just gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>